Welcome to my video of game hunting in Los Angeles. I will show you everything that I did in California. My first trip to the United States ever. This video is sponsored by Epic Games. Thank you. I will take you through all of the game stores that I went to. I will show you my trip to the Universal Studios and the Super Nintendo World. Also Harry Potter Land. I will show you everything that I picked up. I will tell you about the rather creepy story about us accidentally going through one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in Los Angeles. So my vlogging starts out with us traveling from Hashta to Oslo, which means north of Norway down to the capital of Norway, which we always have to do when we want to travel anywhere. And then later boarding a Dreamliner with Norse, and it's the biggest plane that I've ever been on, by far. It was a 10 and a half hour long flight, making our total travel time about 25 hours until we reached the hotel. It was exhausting, to say the least. I was traveling with my sister and we stayed at a hotel called Mama Shelter, located pretty near the Hollywood Walk of Fame area. The hotel was good and I can recommend it. And the Hollywood sign is visible from the roof bar area. I had American pancakes of course and I found a grocery store to get some water. Looking at American groceries for my first time too. So my first impression of Los Angeles is that it is a big city. It's the biggest city I have ever been to. Now this video is sponsored by Epic Games and they sent over a mystery package and I swear I do not know what's in this package but they wanted us to figure out this mystery together, me and you. So this is a mystery I want you guys to also follow along with. It's regarding Alan Wake 2 and you can still pre-order Alan Wake 2 with my link down below. So here are the two items they want me to check out. It's FBI sealed. I'm very much looking forward to Alan Wake 2 now. <gasps> Oh, cute. Look at that. World's greatest FBI agent. <laughs> so this is the mystery file that we are gonna solve. Welcome to the FBI. Your first assignment is an administrative task. It contains case files concerning an ongoing murder investigation. You are to examine and cross-reference the catalog of files. You will identify any potential links to the evidence that may have been missed by more experienced agents. The following items to assist you includes in this welcome pack FBI badge and lanyard to prove you are an official member of the agency. Oh my god. <laughs> good one. Special agent Isha. Very, very good. Plastic gloves. Do not contaminate the evidence. Wear during the task. FBI notepad and pen. Document any discrepancies you may find in the files. Handheld UV light to uncover any case links that may have been missed. <laughs> Pins, red string, post-it notes, and blue tack for use when cross-referencing files. I will contact you later. Look forward to working with you. So this is the start of the investigation. What do you guys make of this? We needed to dim down the lights because we are looking for clues when it comes to this murder investigation. We are being thorough and we have a flashlight and we are going to get to the bottom of this murder. I am not able to find anything suspicious in this first package. Maybe the mystery will unfold much more next time. I will be unboxing the next case file in my next video, so stay tuned for that. You can still pre-order Alan Wake 2 with my link down below. Until later! <laughs> The next day we did all the most touristy things you can imagine, like going to the Hollywood Wax Museum. The entry fee was kind of overpriced, but I feel like once you're there you just gotta do that. The dolls were quite realistic and scary. I found my boy Brad Pitt and Tom Hanks, pretty satisfied with that. I had a little chat with Audrey Hepburn, and I saw Morgan Freeman, Cameron Diaz, and so many other people like Clint Eastwood, Elvis, and then there was this pop star room, trippy stuff. There are supposedly at least two wax museums on Hollywood Boulevard, this street, this famous street. But we only went to this one. And then we walked out to do some star hunting on the Walk of Fame. We found Sandra Bullock, Keanu Reeves, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, Britney Spears, and there are over 250 stars on the street. So, I mean, if you are looking for someone in particular, that is gonna take a whole day. Heading into a huge souvenir shop, there is a Hollywood mug and some cute Kirby stuff. I mean, look at this mug. I was really close on buying this, but I couldn't risk it, you know, being broken in my suitcase, traveling home. But it was definitely cute. And a Paper Mario mug. And guys, yeah, I'm looking forward to the new Paper Mario, the remake of Thousand Year Door. Loved that announcement. That is one of the better Paper Mario games. Really excited for that. 
And then we randomly got into a guided tour bus of sorts, taking a trip around the gated communities at Beverly Hills, where the guide showed us where a bunch of celebrities live, which was cool because then we got to see several parts of the area in a very speedy time. And we got to see places that we wouldn't have otherwise. And let me tell you, the contrast between the rich and the poor, it couldn't be any bigger. The next day we went to the Alan Wake 2 event, which I was invited by Epic Games to attend. But before that, we were trying to check out some local video game stores. And I picked out four locations on Google Maps that was pretty near the event location. So at first we went to this place. It is near downtown Los Angeles at the Little Tokyo Mall. And we went into this store called Retro Game Camp or World 8. And we of course asked the manager, at least I assume he was the manager that it was okay if we could film in there and we could so I made the rounds and immediately checked out the PS Vera section and I noticed that they had rare Neptunia limited editions that I don't have yet tons of rare and niche games too this was a good store and of course Fay Farm Fay Farm which is the game that I'm currently playing still. And I am playing it now on the Switch, as a side note. I started playing it on PC, but then I, now I'm playing it on the Switch. It's fine on the Switch, if you're wondering. Highly recommend that. And I had a look at all the Switch games, uh, a lot of current gen, and also a ton of retro games like GameCube, PlayStation, Xbox, you name it. I could easily spend an hour in here, just looking at all the stuff great store you have. Do you happen to have PAL games? Europe? We don't. You don't? Okay. We don't get them a lot. Oh yeah. Every once in a while we'll get some in. We don't have any. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Norway. Norway? Mm -hmm. I'm have... Norwegian. No way. Well, my family. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know in Norwegian? I don't know. Okay. No. Fellow That's Norwegian. Cool. I want to go to Norway. <laughs> go to Norway and see the Northern Lights. That's what I hear. Mm -hmm. Small world. Like, hell <laughs> this <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, Fete Lul. Fete Lul? Yeah, good. Which way? This way? But yeah. <laughs> hey, look, here's, here's ours. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I decided to grab Ragnarok Odyssey for $15, which is a Japanese version of Ragnarok Odyssey. But it's a game that I have been looking at for quite some time. It's supposedly a really good JRPG on the PS Vita. And I was, of course, also very tempted at other rare titles for the PS Vita. And the guy that worked there, I assume he is the manager. He gave me a handwritten list of all of the best video game stores in Los Angeles, according to him. So you can pause this video right here here and have a look at that if you ever take the trip I mean all the stores it's like territories we don't want to encroach on anyone else's territory <laughs> so they're very spread out and this is your territory ours we got downtown we got K-Town oh yeah. yeah say hi to your grandparents <laughs> I will tell you this was the best store because after this we did what Google Maps said and we started walking towards the next nearest video game store according to Google Maps also dropping in on a random anime merch store for a bit because I saw a Genshin Impact character <laughs> but you know what I guess Google is wrong sometimes because there was no video game store at the next point which I had uh, mapped out for us so I mean I can confirm that at this location there is nothing so we are making Making our way down to the third and last option that we had planned out. We went to this store which is called LA Video Games and it is perhaps not the very best store ever but it wasn't terrible either. It had a ton of current gen stuff and I have also been meaning to pick up a new set of Joy-Cons which I did. These pink and yellow ones I'm very happy with those. $70 which is actually less than in Norway. Otherwise there are a lot of toys and figurines and speakers too and time flew by so fast that at this point I was like we need to go to the event now and I found a shortcut on Google Maps so I was like yeah we have to go that way little did I know that we accidentally went through one of the most dangerous neighborhoods of Los Angeles the Skid Row <gasps> 
but it was daytime and we <laughs> we ran then we went to the event and i will talk more about the event later in another video now the next day the last full day we took a lift as close to the hollywood sign as we can possibly get by car and it was on this location and it was a perfect spot to have pictures taken with the sign and then we went to the universal studios amusement park a huge beautiful amusement park with a ton of stores joy rides restaurants small shops ice cream everything that you can think of and also a ton of nintendo stores so much merch just about anything you can imagine what a wonderful place this was you know what i had a wonderful time at the universal studios this is a place that can easily take up a whole day and it was just the best day if you ever take the trip make sure you are prepared and bring cash because you're gonna want stuff definitely and oh my god i went into the harry potter land they have built Hogsmeade. It's like playing Hogwarts Legacy, remember? That we were obsessed with earlier this year. They built Hogsmeade, the actual street with stores. And you go into the stores and they're actually stores. It was so freaking mind blowing. I mean, all the detail that went into this place, it was absolutely amazing. And they even built freaking Hogwarts. It was huge. And there was an amusement uh, ride inside of this castle, which is the best ride I have ever taken in my entire life. I cannot describe it. No YouTube video is ever making this place justice. It is to be experienced. And then finally, we went into the Super Nintendo World, which is the Nintendo World that they have built. We went into the Toadstool Cafe, which is an actual cafe. Got a sippy cup like this. Nintendo Land was really well made and the lines were not too terrible. We went, what was it? Thursday? But it, it wasn't too bad. This place was also impressive maybe a bit small but it was impressive i had a lot of fun at the universal studios i mean what a day this was quite the day that i will not soon forget but you know what the next day we traveled home and it was really good to be back in norway i'm not gonna lie i'm so grateful that i made it home again so a summary of my trip, I can highly recommend, if you're ever taking the trip, I mean, to make it to the Universal Studios and do all of the things that I just described. It was such a day. And also visit that first video game store with the good manager. Hi, <laughs> hope you're watching this. That was good stuff. And you know what? He, he recognized me from Metal Jesus Rocks and he was like, yeah. And I was like, do you watch, um, do you watch Happy Console Gamer? He was like, yeah, Johnny. Oh yeah, Jason. You were on there. Yeah, I was in Metal Jesus Rocks. That's it. I did see you. On there. Yeah, yeah, Jason. Yeah. Yeah, Jason. Do you know Happy Console Gamer too? Yeah, Johnny. Mhm. Mm yeah. Up in uh, up in Canada. I know, right? Yeah. And I can also recommend the Mama Shelter Hotel, and um, also highly recommending having the lift up installed. That was a savior. Also. Also, you have to tip everyone. Uh, because it's the culture. Now, this is what I picked up at the Universal Studios. Love it. Also the sippy cup. And of course, Ragnarok Odyssey. And the beautiful Joy-Cons, pink and yellow. It was fun to share this stuff with you. And you people are asking me to vlog more. Definitely trying to provide that sometimes. It was a fun travel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.